Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is back at you with another LSPDFR tutorial. And yes, guys and gals, I too am going to do a tutorial on callout interface with a couple of tips and tricks for you along the way. Opus 49, dude is fucking legendary. He drops some amazing mods that are so essential to us having an immersive gameplay and videos and content for, for all you content creators out there. So folks, that's what we're gonna be installing today. I'm also going to do a quick install of the new Grammar Police 1.7.1. That is a required mod in order for the new callout interface to work. And of course, we're gonna go into the game. We're gonna check it out. This video may be lengthy, but I promise you it will be worth it, okay? Anything Opus drops is always worth it, okay? By the way, his Patreon will be linked down below. Go show him some love because guys like him really make it so much better for us to play this game so the least we can do is show him some support by becoming a patreon member to his patreon so go check it out okay plus you get inside scoops and early access and all that other good stuff so enough rambling let's get into it folks the first thing you want to do down below is click the link that says grammar police it will bring you right here now i know i just did a video for grammar police 1.7 well this is the 1.7.1 it all installs the same way, but I do think that there is one extra file in this one that he that he included. So um, just go ahead and click the download this file and agree and download. And you want the main files, the 1.7.1, .1, not the old version. So click download there. All right, and that is gonna download. That is gonna do its thing. And the WinRAR is gonna pop up here and we are gonna minimize that WinRAR. Next, click the link down below that says call out interface folks if you want to see what call it interface does uh check out his video right here call it interface 1.4 um this is opus 49 this is his youtube channel um he's got a thing called dev diaries where he talks about all of the past present and future mods i'm telling you i fucking love this guy i really do and look right here this call it interface i'm so so excited for this i'm so excited for this and of course, he's got some recommended callout packs, which we do have super callouts. Um, I think I will install Chaos in 686, but let's uh, let's go ahead and click download this file as well. And did it not go? Let's click it again. There we go. Agree and download, and of course, the main files, the 1.4.0. And we're gonna let this do its thing. Okie dokie. All right, and we're gonna minimize that. Let's minimize our web browser. Let's bring up our main directory, folks, okay? We're gonna bring up our main directory. All right, there we go. Um, so here's what we wanna do. You wanna get to your main directory. For Steam users, you're gonna go to your local disk drive that your Steam games are installed through. Program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, and common your gta folder will be right there go ahead and double click whichever one you're going to install it in if you have multiple ones i'm going to go to mine as you see i got a lot of them here i'm going to double click that one so this is your main directory front page you got your scripts plugins folder mods folder els if you have that make sure you got a buffer zone here okay you don't have it tight like that bring it out a little bit you want this little bit of buffer zone right there okay all right let's uh first things first we're going to install grammar police now I'm not going to do the full install with the um, with the uh, with the textures file here. Okay, this is an OpenIV install. Down in the description, I do have a link on how to install Grammar Police in its fullest. Um, but if you already have Grammar Police, you don't need to do this part. If you do not have Grammar Police and you want to do this prop stuff, this is not needed for the new um, for the new callout interface. But it is a pretty cool little thing. Uh, I do have the full. Uh, grammar police install down in the description go watch that and it'll show you how to install these files as well for today we're just going to go into this grand theft auto folder right there and this i believe is the new uh file the callout interface api 
everything else as far as his the grammar police uh i and i right here all of this i believe is exactly the same so the cool thing is is if you've watched my last video or any other install videos inside the plugins now it's important i show you this i'm sorry i gotta show this to y'all okay inside your main directory if you double click plugins and you double click lspdfr and you double click grammar police if you've already got the grammar police folder in this default make sure you have a custom one right there okay make sure you got that custom one if you don't know what i mean again watch my full grammar police install video down below before going any further in this video all right so when we drop in the new grammar police it's not going to overwrite our or your um controls here okay it's not going to overwrite that so that's why he made it so we can make that custom file okay so here we go let's go back to the main directory front page again plugins folder your mods folder els all that right here all right over here in the grammar police uh i and i or winrar double click the grand theft auto folder again and you're going to highlight all five of these files the lspdfr plugins folders call out interface api ipt and rage native all right you're going to drag all five of those files bring them right here to this little buffer zone i told you about and drop them in it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite and we are going to go ahead and click yes we're going to replace the files now just to show you that it won't overwrite as long as you have that custom i and i i am once it's done there we go I'm gonna go back into plugins, LSPDFR, Grammar Police, and custom I and I. I'm gonna click it, and as you can see, it still has my Lincoln 39. It still has all of my keybinds that I have set. Okay, so we are good to go. Uh, dispatch key, that shouldn't be D0. That should be, uh, that's zero. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna save that. I don't know why that changed. But there you go. It's all still saved just how you like it. All right. So we're all set with Grammar Police. Again, full video on how to install Grammar Police and Showcase is down in the description. We're going to exit out of that. Let's click back a couple of times till we get back to our main directory front page. Here it is right here. Again, plugins, mods folder, ELS if you have it. All right. Now let's bring up this beautiful new call out interface right there, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to double click the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder and here we go you see all these right here you want to highlight all five of those the plugins the call out interface api ipt rage native raw canvas ui okay we want to now i know that some of these files are the same of what we just installed but that's okay let's just go ahead drag all those files right over here and drop those and again it's going to ask you if you want to replace go ahead and replace there we go and we can exit out of here now Let's go back to plugins, LSPDFR, and call out interface right here, the I and I. You see the little sprocket? Double click that. So here's what we want. There's all sorts of I and I's in here. Now, a lot of this stuff, okay, a lot of this stuff is accessible through the in-game menu. So right off the bat, I'm gonna change my two Lincoln 3.9. The position, all that stuff, the MDT enabled, the MDT toggle on, all this can be changed. All of this can be changed inside the game, okay? So um, we're going to go into that when we go into the game. What I want to do right now is look for the call out menu key. That is set to F8. I want to set that to F10. I have mine set to F10. Now, we want the, now we want to look for the there's the force call out which is f9 so that's pretty cool number pad six will bring up the terminal key um and now what i want to look for is where is it might be just in the game um on how to bring there it is right there the call out menu key oh yeah yeah, yeah. so i'm setting mine to f10 set yours to what you want when you're done click file click save and then exit out there is one feature of this that i'm so excited to tell y'all about that i have been waiting so long for something like this and opus finally did it and i'm so fucking excited and i can't wait to show y'all so folks 
Uh, that is it. You can exit out of everything. We now have the new callout interface installed. Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into the game and let's check out this amazing mod. I'll see y'all in there. Alrighty, everybody. So here we are in the game. And folks, we have so much. We have so much to go over. And when I tell you this new callout interface uh, is just it's just amazing it's so amazing um i played with it and i just just kind of toying around with it and um still learning it it is so freaking cool so let's go over some of the basics now uh to get to the uh call out interface settings remember that key that i set to f10 by default i think it was f8 or f9 um, so if I click my F10, it's going to bring up the callout interface, which is going to show you all of your callouts that you have, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go down to configure settings. Okay. Now in here, you have callouts, force delay, right? Um, and, and Opus did a really good job at putting in a description here for each thing that you do. Automatically starts a dynamic traffic stop callout. <laughs> which is super cool i'm gonna play with this a little bit um uh, if you go back and you go to mdt this is where you're you're gonna have a lot of your uh mdt options if you want the mdt to be uh enabled meaning it'll pop up when you get a call um again like terminal which is displayed when callouts are available then you have, uh, you can toggle the MDT on and off here using the keybind. So you can just turn it on and off right there, but there's a, qu a better, quicker way of doing it, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, MDT in your vehicle only, which is true, obviously. If you're outside of your vehicle, you're not gonna see your MDT, right? So I would keep that at true. Um, MDT auto display and call out, again, it will automatically display the call out super that's what you want right that's why you have an mdt uh then you have your mdt timeout your volume the sound if you accept the call the um the sound on display uh when displaying a call out and then you have uh the sound of an alpr hit I think I'm going to go with six because that's, that's very, uh, MDT show distance. Um, this will display a message showing the distance, which is super cool. Um, so I got everything in there that I want set to where I want it. Um, postals again, this is postal code enabled. If you click it, it will have your postal code. You can see it show up right there, right? Now I have it set to false because I do have simple HUD installed, which has the postal your your direction your road and the time and where you are so uh i have i have my postal code enabled to false uh, but if you want to set it to true and you want to move it around you would use this postal code um you know this right here would 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 move it left right right up down and then you can change the scale you can make it bigger you can make it smaller and then your postal code set he's got ocrp pre-0802 uh, in virus city i think ocrp uses our one of these is the same ones i think it's this one right here virus city i think is what slrp uses so i think i'm going to keep it on that one um the plate right you got the plate now plate enabled we are going to set that to true that's going to bring up that plate oh i forgot to turn off the postal let me turn that off right so you got the plate right enables the license plate display um set it to true plate only in vehicle obviously you want to set it to true because when you're out of the vehicle you know your, your vehicle's not going to be showing you that so i'm going to keep that on uh in your alpr debug enabled when set the alpr will run in debug mode i don't know what that means uh maybe opus if you're watching this video maybe you can explain what that means um, invalid document rate in, invalid license rate this is what is the probability of um, what's the probability of each one of these getting hit with the ALPR blip enabled by default it's set to false 
Um, I watched Opus's Dead Dev Diaries. He says setting it to false. Kind of, look at that guy. It, it's kind of realistic, right? Because, you know, your MDT won't show a blip if your ALPR goes off. So um, I said it to true because I'm just lazy. <laughs> uh, and nearby vehicle check. The number of nearby vehicles to check the cameras against. By default, it's set to eight. Uh, I might take mine maybe down to maybe I'll do four right now. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll do four as of right now. Now we go back and then you click save, right? So that's pretty much it. And please, again, Opus, if you're watching, if I miss anything, feel free to correct me, add anything, whatever you need to do in the comments. Um, by all means, man. Now I can hear my ALPR going off. But I'm not seeing any blips. And I have the blips set, so not sure about that. Um, also, one thing I'm noticing is the plate reader's not changing when cars are in front. I might be doing something wrong here, y'all, but okay, so by default, your number pad six, if you if you hit it once, just tap it, it will bring up your M your your MDT. But you can't you can't select nothing on it. If you hold in that number pad six you'll see your mouse pop up. Now you can control it. You can set yourself available in route on scene or busy. We're gonna set busy for right now. Boom, look at that, Lincoln 39, busy. That's fucking awesome. Um, plate, if you click it, it will snap the plate. It will lock in the plate. That I know it does do. I noticed that when I was playing around with it. Um, ALPR, that will turn your ALPR on. And your settings here, it's just gonna bring up these settings again that we just went through. And of course you have your, uh, you have your, uh, your, oh, I gotta hold long, hold it again. You have your panic button, which we don't wanna hit. Now, if you look down here, these are, you know, sub tabs. So you got incident, I'm gonna save this one for a little later, you got pets, right? If you run into any pad, stop the pad. You can look them up here through your CAD. Super fucking awesome. Vehicles. Now, as your ALPR is hitting vehicles, right? If you look right here, there's your ALPR. Look at how fucking awesome this is. And you can see it. You can see it um, scanning. Look at that. How cool is that? That is so is it supposed to do that because it didn't do that for me earlier that's pretty wicked it did not do that for me earlier i did not <laughs> that's uh that's pretty cool that's pretty fucking wicked man um i don't know i kind of like it maybe it was a setting i did oh am i in debug mode did i leave it in debug mode maybe i did maybe that's what that is let me check let me check. Ah, I'm in debug mode. That's exactly what it is. I'm so surprised that I even figured that out on my own. I got a gold sticker, Opus. All right, so as it's hitting cars, it's going to tell you right there, um, suspended license. Whatever plate is 60, uh, 60 Ocean Sam George 966, suspended license, right? Wicked fucking awesome. I'm going to hold press six again so I can bring out my trusty little mouse. And you can drive while your mouse is out so you can get out of the way of other vehicles, right? So you can get out of, out of the way. Now, one thing that I think is super, super fucking cool is down here in these subfolders, these sub tabs, go to call outs. It has, it has call outs and it's got the order that they came in and you can go to it vehicle on train tracks was the last one that came through and i can hit attach look at that y'all look at that and you can go in so even if a call out comes through and you ignore it and it goes away you could always go into this click the call outs tab and select one of these fucking call outs and then it, it, your status is busy, so you can click yourself in route if you wanted, or you know you could just get on the radio, 
to Lincoln 39, show me in route, right? And it'll show you, it'll show you in route. Um, that is so awesome. And as I play with it more, I'm sure I'll get used to it, especially the ALPR. Um, I just think it's, listen, Opus really, really outdid himself. And if you want to get out, if you're here in this menu and you want to get out of this menu, you don't want your mouse to be there no more, you just right click and it goes away and you can now go back to, uh, you know, working your, your mouse here. And if you don't want the cat up, just quick, quick hit your numpad six like that. Now I might have to change that because I have my spotlight set to numpad six um, to turn it to the right. So I might put mine like on number pad three. Um, I don't have anything for my number pad three. So my MDT, I think I'm gonna set to number pad three. As, as, as if the, you know, being able to go check out older callouts wasn't enough. Let me tell you something here. This is one of my absolute favorite parts of callout interface. And I'm gonna show y'all here. I saved the best for last in my opinion. And I put debug mode back on for this so you can really see it. Folks, one thing that Opus added was the ability to now run plates on parked vehicles. I'm not a Look at this. We are running plates on parked vehicles, y'all. Now you can see the plate there, eight, nine, uh, M, M, G, and you can see it. It's in, uh, look at the MDT. It's showing it in the MDT. How flippin' awesome. I have been waiting so long for something like this, right? I have been waiting so long for something like this. This is great for parking enforcement, patrols, or just patrols in general. You can go to the city, go to the mega mall and just circle the parking lot and look for abandoned stolen vehicles, right? Something like that. Um, again, I am, I am running the uh, debug mode. So if I go back, if I go into uh, my settings, and I go to ALPR, I am in debug mode. So we'll set that to false and then I can save. And now you won't see those lines anymore, but it's still reading all the cars. It's still reading all the cars that are going by. And if you get a hit, it, 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 it's going to, uh, it, it'll blip it if you have blips set and it'll show it on the map. Um, so folks, a, a, a great big shout out to Opus, his whole, dev team his beta testers anybody and everybody that helped opus along with this just fucking amazing absolute must-have mod this is an absolute must-have mod into your game um and like i said earlier please uh his, his patreon is linked down below um and if you can only if you can i don't expect everybody to go rushing over there and, and join his patreon but Anybody that can go to his Patreon and show support or uh, tip, you can also tip Opus 49 um, through the LSPDFR page. Um, you know, just show support to somebody who uh, puts an endless amount of time to make our gaming experience better. It's not like LSPDFR and Rockstar and GT. It's not like they're paying him to do this stuff. He's doing it on his own time. So the least we can do if you can, is go show support. Um, it, it, obviously, if you can't, just show support by dropping a comment on the mod on lspdfr.com, um, installing it, you know what I mean? So um, you can always show love that way as well. That's free, doesn't cost a dime, doesn't cost a penny to leave a positive comment because there is nothing negative you could say about this, this mod. Um, so big shout out to Opus and everybody that helped him create this. It's fucking amazing. Uh, absolute legends. Um, that is it, everybody. That is it. Get this mod installed. If you're new here and you feel I'm deserving, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you know a new amazing content is dropped. Also, consider giving this video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up this video gets, the more people it can reach and teach just as it did with you. Until next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer, 
is out. We'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.